Hi everyone, this is Shilika for Medico Awesome. Today I am going to discuss a series of uh, videos that is uh, called as Immunohistochemistry and Cytogenetics. They are basically for leukemias and lymphomas. So this is one topic which we all fear a lot because of a lot of random numbers which come into the play. So I am going to share a mnemonic for some things which I remembered out of the whole lot. Okay. So <clears throat> the first of the lot is ALL that is acute um, lymphoid leukemia. Okay. For ALL there are two types of ALL. One is B cell and the other is T cell. So um, to remember this think of B cell as something below you know and that will help you remember it causes loss of function mutation and uh, T cell is something tall and that uh, will help you remember that the T cell genes they are basically gain of function mutation Uh, as these are not directly the cytogenetics related to it, um, the genes involved which undergo these changes. So the loss of function mutation is seen in, uh, no I'm sorry, it, it's seen in B, Pax, okay, Pax gene, P-A-X, Pax 5. You can remember this one for <clears throat> B cell. And for T cell, you can remember the T, so N-O-T-C-H, notch 1 gene. So, these are the things I remember for ALL. Also, you can uh, remember one more thing, which is uh, translocation 1221. 12, and uh, I kind of like this number. It's 1, 2, 2, 1. So, this will help you remember that 1221 is a good number. So, it is responsible for good prognosis. The next we move to AML. That is acute myeloid leukemia. And um, AML has a lot of you know a lot of uh, different subtypes which have different mutations or immunohistochemistry or cytogenetic markers so uh, firstly we'll start with the cd markers for aml so take this m out of aml flip it like a three and uh, take this a and it tells you of one also you can take this l and make it as four so we'll remember as the CD markers for AML, um, we'll start writing. Okay, so we'll take 3, 3, we'll write 3 twice. Then we'll make a combination of 1, 3. We can make a combination of 1, 4. And then we can just add up these things. So we can make it as 1, 1, these 2 times 1. And uh, we can add up as 17. So, the CD marker for AML are CD33, CD13, CD14, and CD117. So, these are the CD markers for AML. Then we can uh, start with AML M2 variant. This two, uh, for the, it is the commonest, okay. So, AML M2. Okay, it is the commonest and uh, the translocations for uh, AML M2 is uh, when you cube this number 2 it gives you number 8 so the translocation is 821 for AML M2 then we switch to AML M3 and for M3, a characteristic is it is associated with DIC, that is disseminated intravascular coagulation. So DIC has three alphabets, quite easy to remember. 
also AML M3 is associated with OR rods. So it's actually spelled as A-U-E-R, but I just like to write it as A-U-R and it helps me like remember three letter word OR, OR is yeah, associated with AML M3. Another feature in AML M3 you can remember is uh, the translocation as 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 and the translocation is 15, 17. Then we move on to AML M4 and again I'll use another mathematical trick is 4 square is 16. So, AML M4 is associated with inversion 16. Mm, then we move on to AML M4 and M5 together for the stains. And uh, I don't have a mnemonic for the, this, but you can remember the stains like NSC positive and it's non specific and something Easter is okay, and uh, Muramide is positive. And for AML um, M and for AML M six M seven, uh, you can remember their past positive. Another one for this whole series is uh, usually AML treatment overall. Um, we uh, we prefer bone marrow transplant. The treatment is bone marrow transplant but for AML M3 there's a specific treatment with some drug called all trans retinoic acid to remember this you can take up this T and think of three and that will help you remember ADRA, ADRA is used in AML M3 so this is the first part of the video and um, 